Is this a Protestant version of Joan? I think there's no doubt about it that Dreher's uh, Protestantism uh, is the prevailing force, but I think that a lot of other cultural influences have come to bear on the film. Uh, when you see the uh, uh, cudgels being thrown out of the uh, uh, the castle window to arm the soldiers, uh, one is very much put in mind of the medieval pictures of the harrowing of hell um, and of the uh, of the unrighteous being uh, driven down as uh, the peasants who are presumably mainly uh, Joan's supporters. Are, are driven back at the end of the film, um, and that one has the, uh, the, the these great sweeping uh, camera movements uh, over the soldiers uh, treating the people, uh, and, and uh, which of course refers back to the earlier part of the film when it's been discussed as to whether Joan's visions are from God or whether they're from the devil. Uh, and one is uh, left to infer that uh, Warwick and his soldiery are very much uh, the devil's agent in this. So I, I think this is uh, can be seen as, as a very Protestant uh, account of uh, the trial of Joan, that she is a person who uh, believes her own visions and her own uh, encounters uh, with, with the Archangel Michael and uh, uh, and that her vision of God is the truth to her and that she will not accept the uh, the teaching of the uh, supposedly learned fathers uh, that these are uh, the works of the devil uh, so in, in that it is supporting uh, the independent mind of the individual in their uh, interpretation of, of what scriptures or whatever uh, that it, it, it is very much in the uh, the, the, the Protestant mold uh, rather than the uh, what one would think of as the uh, French or Italian Catholic uh, approach.